there's a lot that ordinary people can do to affect our future. Uh, we can all educate ourselves about the basics of what's the difference between uh, energy science and energy technology that works in harmony with nature and one that violates nature. And we can connect with other people, our colleagues, our neighbors, discuss these issues, turn to uh, books like Breakthrough Power for the big picture, and then go further with a resource list to looking more deeply into what's available. And we can each change our own lifestyle so that we're contributing to um, human family being more responsible and living with harmony with nature ourselves, whether we cut back on, on our use of gasoline, if we're not dependent on driving a car to a job, if we can make a decision about not driving to a supermarket or walking, if we can and everybody can look at their consumption of uh, material goods because whether we have energy abundance or not uh, to clean up this planet, we're going to have to examine our over-consumptive lifestyle, our uh, materialistic thinking that we have to have all these plastic items lifestyle. And we can hold a vision of a of a clean energy future. We can put our own interpretation in our writing and our art and, and our thoughts, which are in themselves are a powerful creative force. And for more how-to, what, what people can do, there's a whole chapter at the end of Breakthrough Power talking about what, what we ordinary people can do for a clean energy future.